Greetings, Toastmasters. Fellow Toastmasters. No guests tonight, but... I came into this world quietly. A 10-pound baby boy with an attachment to his mother that needed no words. A pale blue bundle of joy who silently stole the attention of the whole room. You see, before I came to this world, I decided to get all wrapped up into my umbilical cord. And I cut off my oxygen so I couldn't breathe. I wasn't able to take my first breath or make a wild scream to let the world know I had arrived. The doctor had to cut me out of my mother and force breath into my lungs for me to begin this journey of life. One thing I learned from my birth is that for this life to keep going, breath has to keep flowing. No matter if I'm wrapped up in my own umbilical cord or if I'm wrapped up in my own thoughts and feelings, for this life to keep going, I have to allow the breath to keep flowing. My birth was not the last time I had to struggle for my breath. Now besides being a great swimmer and pinching my nose when I walked past the dumpster, I had to struggle for my breath once again when I was only 12 years old. On a sunny Saturday morning during a hot corona summer, two young boys decided to get their scruffy hairs cut. So we hopped on our bikes and headed to the barbershop. Blazing down the street at full speed, we came to the crosswalk, feet away from the barbershop. The little light in the intersection told us to go ahead and go. As soon as I entered the intersection, I woke up. My friend pulled me from underneath the burning engine of the car that I never saw coming. My flesh sizzled on the hot asphalt as the rest dangled from my tattered clothes. I climbed to my feet and used my crumbling legs to fall to the curb and black. I woke up this time to unfamiliar faces and an even stranger feeling. As two men held my little brown body down, I fought for mental clarity in every breath I can get into my body. One of my ribs had broken and punctured my lung. So as blood poured into my body, I drowned from the inside. Nothing was more important than every sip I can get into my battered body. My mind was in shock. Suddenly, one of the paramedics pulled out the longest needle I've ever seen in my life from this kid. And before I could object, he plunged it into my bare chest. Like letting the air out of a tire. The noise was deafening, but I didn't care. I could breathe again. I woke up again with the same problem as before. The Lancer light needle was only a temporary solution to my problem of having one functioning lung. The sun shined on my pain-riddled face as they rolled me out of the ambulance vehicle. It was like I was watching a scene of ER. Panic had set in as I was not thinking death, but more so life. How could I hold on to this precious gift that I only had for 12 short years? I was terrified, but I didn't know what. I just wanted my breath back. As they rolled me into the operating room, tears streamed down my bloody face. I watched several masked faces strapping me down, poking me and taking vitals at a time, and the only thing vital to me was my breath. As they rolled me into the operating room, I can only hope these people who I had to let hold me were not yet angels. Through my struggles for breath, I felt an invasion of pain into my left side that I can still feel. The doctor had to cut me open and insert a long, rigid plastic tube into my side to allow me to breathe again. Life has taught me the value of breath the hard way. No matter if it's rapid and shallow or slow and deep, the breath is the key to continuing this life. 
Many of us don't acknowledge the breath until it's gone. Whether we witness the childbirth and have our breath taken away, or it's chest clenching anxiety from speaking in front of a group of Toastmasters. The key to life is to allow the breath to keep going. No matter if it's rapid or shallow or the deep and slow in breath, the key to continuing is to keep moving. As obstacles come into our life without our request, we have the power to deal with them. When the bills keep going in, the people at your job won't roll away or your spouse won't roll over, just let the breath roll in. Because you have everything you need to complete every challenge that you have in your life. But you can't do anything if you're not breathing. The overwhelming circumstances can blind you, even make you feel like life is fading to black. But relief is only one inhale or exhale away. And now I'm not talking about huffing and puffing <laughs> like some weirdo. Just breathe with me, like a deep inhale and a long exhale. And just enjoy the power you have within you to take care of any challenge in your life. Now I came into this world a breathless baby boy with a life full of challenges facing him. And I will leave this world a breathless man with challenges I have overcome, all because I was able to allow my breath to keep flowing.